Hello everyone, happy to see you here and today we have a really interesting exponential equation x to the power squared of x equal to 2 and let's solve this challenge right here. First of all let's write this x to this base, let's write this base right here, so what do we have right here? We have our x. And basically x equal to square root of x square, yeah this is absolutely correct expression because if we rewrite this square root of x as x to the power 1 half we can easily rewrite it like that and if we raise this to the power second right here we need to multiply this 1 half times 2, so as a result we have x to the power 1 half times 2, and as a result we have only, only our x. We have all the time equal sign, so this is absolutely correct expression, but what do we need from here? We need only this expression in the beginning, so that square root of x, uh, that x equal to square root of x to the second power. So right now, instead of this x right here, let's plug in this expression, square root of x to the second power. Okay, let's do this right now. So what do we have right here? Square root of x to the power second, we write in this instead of x, this expression, and we raise this to the power square root of x. Let's do this. So raising to the power square root of x. And equal to 2, yeah, equal to, equal to 2. Right now we need to know a really great rule. This is like um, school property, school rule, everyone know about it. This rule looks like that right here. So for example, if we have a to the power b raised to the power c, we can write it as a to the power b times c. Yeah, all known property, all known rule, everyone know about it. We already like applied this rule before right here. Yeah, so everyone should know about this property. Right now let's apply this property right here. So we will have as a result, from here we will have square root of of uh, square root to the power 2 square root of x. Yeah, we just multiply this 2 and square root of x instead of this b and c. Okay, so to the power 2 square root of x equal to 2. Right now, let's look closely what do we have right here. We have square root of x, we have constant, we have square root of x, we have constant. So basically, we have two same expressions of square root of x and square root of x right here. Both are the same expression. So as a result, we can uh, easily work with substitution. Substitution, okay? So let our square root of x will be equal to, for example, let's go with y, okay? This is our substitution. Okay, so right now let's plug in instead of the square root of x, let's plug in y from here. What do we have as a result? As a result, we will have, instead of this square root of x, we have y to the power 2y, okay? 2y equal to, equal to 2. Okay, right now everyone should know about a uh, natural log, okay, natural log property, because mm, if you apply natural log from both sides, we will have really great thing right here, okay, let's do this. So from here, let's apply natural log. So natural log we apply on the left side, so natural log of the left side, y to the power 2y, and we apply natural log on the right side, so natural log, natural log of 2. Right now, everyone should know about natural log property because 2y will come down right here before this natural log. This is the main log property. Everyone should know about it. Because, for example, if you have natural log of a to the power b, this is equal to b times natural log a. Okay, this is our rule that we really need right now. So 2y will come down right here. What do we have as a result? Let's look closely what do we have right here. We have 2y times natural log y equal to natural log 2, okay, something like that. Right now, let's look closely what do we have right here. We have a constant, we have variable, we have variable, and we have constant. So right now, let's try to group our constant on the right side and our variables on the left side. For this, let's divide both sides by 2, okay? So if we divide both sides by 2, we can easily cancel these two from left-hand side, and it appears right here in our denominator. So let's write the expression that we have right here. So y times natural log y equal to natural log 2 over over 2. Okay, I hope you understand this step. Right now, let's write instead of this y, let's write e to the power natural log y. This is absolutely the same thing, but in the future this will help us a lot because um, right here instead of y, let's write this expression. So let's write e to the power natural log y. This is absolutely the same thing because e and natural log we can easily cancel. So this is absolutely the same thing. We still have times natural log y, times natural log y equal to natural log 2 over 2. And a lot of students ask me, okay, mister, why do you, like, complicate your challenge? Because this challenge right now is more complicated right here, because we just uh, rewrite this y as e to the power natural log y, and it turns into a big argument. A lot of students don't understand why we, why we do this. But here's my explanation. If you know a little bit about na lambda w function right here, so for example, uh, remember or learn about this function, a lot of students don't understand about this function. So if you have a times e to the power a, if we have the expression like that, where a is wherever we want expression, and we have e, if we apply lambda w function from this expression right here, 
As a result, this is equal only to our a. So as you can see, it simplifies us a lot. This function will simplify us a lot. And right now, if we look closely, I create this e right here. I have a, I have a, because this is absolutely the same thing, natural log y and natural log y, this is our same expression, but we need to change places, okay? So right now, let's, cha let's change places a little bit and let's apply this lambda w function on the left side. Let's do this. So we have lambda w function on the left side and uh, of this function, natural log y, this is our a, okay, natural log y times e to the power natural log y, e to the power natural log y, okay, right here. And right now, this is the same expression as right here, so we can easily apply this lambda w function, but we need to apply this function uh, on the right side, yeah? So of this natural log 2 over 2, okay? On the left and on the right side. Right now, we apply this lambda w function, as a result we have only our a. In our case, this is natural log y, so as a result we have <coughs> natural log y. Okay, natural log y on the left side, and on the right side we have lambda w function of this expression, which is absolutely a like, great expression for us because this is a constant. Okay, so natural log two over over two. Okay, okay, really great. Right now this is a constant on the right side. This is a variable on the left side. So let's try to find our our y from here. How can we do that? There are a lot of approaches, but but I'm going to show you this one. First of all, let's create base of e on both sides. Right here, base of e with with this power natural log y, and on the right side, let's create base of e, base of e of this of this function lambda w function of natural log two over over two. Why I do this? Because right here, this e and natural log uh, y, we can easily cancel. Natural log, yeah, y, we, we didn't touch it. Yeah, we cancel this natural log and e, and as a result, we have only our y on the left side. Okay, only our y on the left side. And on the right side, we have e to the power lambda w function of this natural log two over over two. And it looks like our answer, but uh, we need to know, we need to remember that before we had a substitution, square root of x equal to y, we had it before right here. So as a result, from here, we need to find our x. How can I do this? x from here, we need to square both sides. Okay, if we square it, we have x equal to x equal to y, y square. So as a result, we need to square our y, and as a result, we have our x. So our x from here, let's write all of this, uh, all this expression, so x from here, equal to y square, okay, y square, and as a result, this expression to the second power, e to the power lambda w function of natural log 2 over 2, and right here, and right here, and right here, we need to square it, okay, so this is our answer, but we, need, we can easily simplify this a little bit, yeah, we can easily mm, multiply our powers mm, according to the, like, main log property, from here, our x equal to e to the power to lambda w function of this expression, of this expression. This is a constant, this is a constant, so uh, everyone can, can find exact value of this uh, lambda w function. Yeah, we can easily multiply it by two because this is a constant, this is a constant. As a result, we can find our exact value, but I find it for you, x approximately equal to 1.7. Okay, this is our answer to this to this challenge, x approximately equal to 1.7. And right now I'm going to show you a plot right here. You can easily see this uh, graph right here, uh, x to the power squared of x uh, intersect only in one point. And as a result, this is our 1.7. So as you can see, there is no other real solutions. This is one solution, 1.7. And I hope you understand this approach. And right now, uh, let's write our final answer right here. Okay, let's write our final answer. If you're talking about your exam right here, if you're sitting on your exam, uh, this answer is absolutely enough for you. x equal to e to the power to lambda w function of natural log 2 over 2. This is absolutely enough for you because you're sitting on your exam and you like don't allow to uh, use your calculator right here, but uh, maybe someone interested in approximately answer. So x approximately equal to 1.7. And without a telephone, it's really hard to to find like this power, like approximately power, it's really hard to know every value of this Lambert W function. So this is like for everyone, maybe someone don't be interested in math, you can easily look at this uh, approximately answer. But if you're sitting in your exam, this is absolutely enough for you. This is our final answer. I hope you understand my explanation. I hope you learned something new. Also write your question down into the comment section. Also write your suggestion down into the comment section. It will be really interesting to read about it. Also, I want to say thank you everyone for your support. I really appreciate it. If you leave a like, write any comment, doesn't matter it's a kind comment or like a bad comment. Uh, I really appreciate it and it helps me. It improves my videos a lot. 
I really appreciate it, uh, your support. It's really uh, like grateful from you. It's I really appreciate it. So also write a question down into the comment section. Write your suggestion down into the comment section. What do you think about these videos? All what do you think about this explanation? Thank you for your time. Have a great day. See you in the next videos.